All right, continue with our figure now. Now, one of the, the tricks I kind of do sometimes, move this up, is when I get into areas that are real brittle, like I just got into, I'll wet the figure. Now, watch. When you wet the figure, it's not, it doesn't, it, it sort of uh, keeps it from breaking too easily, in other words. So I'll wet, I'll wet these areas up in here, and I'll, um, it softens the wood a little bit where it's not quite as brittle. Now, it's brittle, folks. That don't mean you can put a bunch of pressure on it, but it makes it a little less brittle to, to, to deal with. By soaking it in a little water, and I mean just putting water over it. You know, uh, and, the, and the wood softens the wood, and it doesn't make it quite as brittle as it. Uh, and basswood, people say, well, basswood's not brittle. Yes, it is. It can be brittle. Yes, it can. And in, in, in small areas, it certainly can be brittle. Any kind of wood can be brittle in small areas or delicate areas where you're you're working. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to work on the brim a little bit. Now we want to be careful with this. Always kind of go around. Now, we're going to kind of Be careful. off just a little bit. here. I'll move a little bit of wood there, thin that up just a little bit. Now I'm going to kind of take this, I'm going to kind of bring that hat up a little bit. What I'm saying is where it kind of coming from the back back here, so it kind of scoops up like that in the back in other words. And the same here in the front. I want it to kind of just sort of come up a little bit. The brim. Just like that. It sort of flips in the front. See like that, which sort of flips up in the front and on the sides. And by doing that, you have to kind of take a little bit off in here. Sort of flip it up. <sighs> See, 
See how the hat kind of flips up just a little bit? That's what I want. Not a whole lot, but and the hair comes up underneath it like this. See that? Now see how I put my finger, my hand across here and take a little bit off in here? See that holds that area in there to keep from breaking. Just take your time. That's the main thing. Don't get in a big hurry. And if you have to wet it a few times, go back and wet it again, that's okay. Do that. Soften up that wood a little bit. Don't get it to where it's... Uh... Watch. I'm going to go wet it again. I'll show you what I'm saying. See, I wet that wood a little bit. Now watch how that wood does. See? It just has a tendency to, to soften up a little bit, carve better. A lot of people keep a solution of 50% alcohol and 50% water, and they spray when they get hard pieces of basswood or areas that are like shooting like this, they'll spray it to, to, to make sure Okay, now I'm going to go from the brim of the hat now. We're getting it down pretty good. We're getting it down all right. I want to take a little bit, a little bit more in here because I want to flip that. See, I want to keep that brim flipped up like that. You don't have to flip it up. You don't have to do that. Just kind of. You want that you want to keep that roundness on the top of that hat. You don't want to flatten it off. You want to keep that little bit of roundness on there. So just kind of go around. There we go. See how it kind of flips up a little bit? Okay. Now let's go down. We're not going to have any ears on this. We're going to go down and let's just bring the, the hair down on this side. See how the hair flips up like that? We're going to bring the hair down on this side and on this side. So we can go ahead and start establishing where our hair is. We're going to come down. And then we're going to remove some wood away from here. See that? Okay. Same thing. Let me see how far. Maybe come back a little bit, a little bit more. Same thing here. I'm going to come back. And we're going to remove the wood in here. Plus, it, it allows for more. Um, okay. See that? Now we're starting to get our face. Now our face on our, our we're going to have kind of a round face. 
not a, a a face like a normal person sort of a round face and we're going to take some more off and some more off over here because his hair is pretty thick Okay, and let's take some off down in here. What you do is you sort of take it off from the hair and the, and the face will sort of round itself out as you do that. Taking it off from the hair. There we go. Okay, I think my time, yeah, my time is up. But already, we are establishing the hair. We're establishing, we're establishing the, uh, the, the hat. And a clown, we all know that the, the, the really, when it comes to a clown, the, the real life of the clown is not seen until you actually paint it. But, but um, it's getting there. Okay.